Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial equation uh, that's a quartic. Now, if you go ahead and just distribute x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 4, and x minus 8, we're just going to get a you know, complicated equation that we need to solve. At this point, you can just go ahead and pause the video and then try the problem yourself first. Okay, let's see. Now, if we just distribute everything, I think we're going to get in uh, a lot of trouble. So instead, we're going to be doing something different. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to take the first factor and pair it up with the fourth one. And then the second one with the third one. And you're going to see in a little bit why we do this. There's a reason, obviously. So let's go ahead and multiply x minus 1 times x minus 8. That's going to give us x squared minus 9x plus 8. And if you multiply x minus 2 by x minus 4, you're going to get x squared minus 6x plus 8. And that product is going to equal 10x squared. Okay, now we got two terms, two quadratics, basically. And what they have in common is the constant term. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to divide both sides by x squared. But I'm going to do it in a smart way. So let's go ahead and divide this by x squared. And instead of dividing the whole thing by x squared, I'm going to divide each of these factors by x, which will be equivalent to the right-hand side. Okay? And what is good about this? Now, when I do that, I'm going to be getting x minus 9, because 9x divided by x, plus 8 over x, multiplied by x squared divided by x is x, minus 6x divided by x is 6, plus 8 over x. And the x squared is going to cancel out here. We're going to get a really nice answer, which is 10, okay? Now, obviously, there's a reason why we do this, because after doing this, we're actually going to be able to use substitution. Because notice that we have the x here and then 8 over x here. So 8 plus 8 over x is something we can substitute, okay? Because that repeats and everything else is a constant. So... At this point, I have very many choices, but I'm just going to go with one of these. So I'm just going to call x plus 8 over x another variable. Let's call that u, okay? Because I love the u substitution. After doing that, we're going to be getting u minus 9 multiplied by u minus 6, and that's going to equal 10. Now, what is good about this type of substitution is it immediately turns this quartic equation into a quadratic okay that's what's nice about it let's go ahead and distribute and arrange the terms we're going to get u squared minus 9u minus 6u that's going to be minus 15u and 9 times 6 is going to be 54 and that's equal to 10 if you subtract 10 from both sides then we're going to end up with this equation which is actually factorable because it has integer roots okay so we're looking for two numbers whose product is 44 and whose sum is negative 15. Since the sum is negative and the product is positive, the factors need to be negative. So I'm going to use negative 11 and negative 4 for this purpose. Okay? Makes sense? So I'm going to split it up as u minus 11 multiply by u minus 4, and that's equal to 0. And as you can see from here, I'm going to be getting the two solutions very easily u equals 11 and u equals 4. Obviously, we're not looking for u, we're looking for x. So I'm going to go ahead and back substitute what was called u, 8 plus x plus 8 over x. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the u with that, x plus 8 over x. And x plus 8 over x. So from here, after doing the u substitution and back substituting, we're actually getting two more equations, so and they are going to be quadratic. So let's go ahead and make a common denominator or just multiply both sides by x. Same thing here, but I would just prefer to multiply. So we're going to get x squared plus 8 equals 11x. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put everything on the same side. x squared minus 11x plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay? That's going to be one of our equations. Let's go ahead and solve that equation, actually. We can actually solve it very easily 
with the quadratic formula if we use it. And by the way, this has real roots because b squared minus 4ac is positive here. Needless to say, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times 8, which is 32, divided by 2a, which is 2. So we're going to get two solutions from here. 121 minus 32 is going to be 91, right? Well, actually, it's not 91, is it? Okay. Uh, it's actually going to be 89, isn't it? Okay. 121 minus 32. Okay. That's going to be 89. So we're going to get 11 plus minus the square root of 89, which is a prime number, by the way, divided by 2. That's going to be two of the solutions. And let's see what we get from here. x plus 8 over x. Divide, uh, multiply both sides by x. We're going to be getting x squared plus 8 equals 4x. And then x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And as you know, this is equal to x minus 2 quantity squared plus 4 is equal to 0. And as you know, this has no real solutions. We can actually find the complex solutions from here very easily. Uh, how do we find them? Well, you can kind of square root both sides and notice that the square root of negative 4 is 2i. So we're going to be getting x minus 2 being equal to plus minus 2i. And then by adding 2 to both sides, we're going to, be get, the, we're going to get the other solutions which are complex. Okay, so this equation, which being a, quad, uh, being a quartic, has four solutions, two of them are real and two of them are complex. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video.